Welcome to the video and today I'm going to show you how to get the full version of DaVinci Resolve on iPad. Now this is what it looks like just after downloading and if you hit command option K it will take you to the keyboard customization. In there you can see a lot of the things aren't assigned and if you search for show like that you can scroll down to the bottom and it says workspace. Click on the workspace tab right there, show page and then there are all the other tabs. You can assign them to anything you'd like. I did shift one through seven, so all I have to do is press that and it should work. Now let's see if it does. Hit close on that, watch this, shift one. Click on it, there's the medium bit, media bin. Shift three, there's the edit tab. Uh, shift seven, there's the deliver page. And it just works. I can go through every tab and they work just like normal, just like on the Mac version or the PC version. So there you go. You can do other customizations. For example, I did command P or command option P right here. And that brings up all the other settings that normally it doesn't allow you to use. So you can change how much RAM it uses here in this section. And you can, you can basically have DaVinci Resolve on iPad without any limitations. If this was helpful at all, please leave a like on this video. I did find this out from another YouTuber. There is a link in the description below to that channel and to that video. So anyway, that's it for this video. If you have any questions about DaVinci Resolve, please leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to get an answer to you. Anyway, that's it for this video and thank you for watching.